As many of you celebrate your season of renewal and resurrection, we celebrate with you. You are all capable of renewing your life and resurrecting your spirit. No matter the condition of your mind, body and emotions, regardless of the circumstances around you. Whether you are 20 or 90, it is possible to renew your vitality. When we learn to imagine living in scenarios that we love, we can recognize the quality of energy that is present. We can direct our attention in alignment with the potentiality of living in gratitude for everything. We are filled with gratitude, love and joy. We can experience the fulfillment of the desires of our heart. This can be the physical need of having enough to eat or the need of being free from physical or psychological pain. Or it can be the need to feel safe and financially secure. Or the need to feel connected and heard and seen and understood. Or the need of being surrounded by a like-minded and safe community. Or it can be the need to feel that your lives matter and your pain is worth it or the need to feel that you are a good person and that you are making a difference and contributing enough, etc. There is a degree of uncertainty as to what path to take to avoid a situation that might lead to an all-out war. Several issues are involved and anyone could spark off a global war, and we say this with no desire to frighten you, but the facts must be faced. We for our part stand aside with no desire to interfere, but can spread ideas around that could lead to a more desirable outcome. It is our deep desire that each of you allow divine love to help renew your joy. Life is always lifing, love is always flowing, and as you tap into this endless stream of vibrant, pure, loving energy from the source. Everything in your life will take a turn for the better. Renewal is possible, dear ones, even when you can't imagine the way. Resurrection is possible even when you feel discouraged or beaten down. In every given moment, you have an opportunity to allow the endless stream of life to flow to you. And through you once again, and in that stream's flow, all things are indeed made new. There is a world of every kind of experience available to us. By controlling our focus, we can see into the reality of the world we want most deeply. It is always present for us, ready for us to realize its presence. Every potential reality is present for us in every moment. But we are aware of only what we accept within the vibratory limits that we create. These limits are enforced by our beliefs about our reality and who we are. Nothing outside of our own consciousness exists in our experience. Since we are the ones who set the limits that we live within. We can expand and dissolve these limitations. This we can do with our attention and intentional awareness. By recognizing and accepting our limiting beliefs, we begin to get a grip on our larger reality beyond limitations. When we shift to a higher frequency spectrum in our dominant thought patterns and feelings, our experiences shift into a higher vibratory realm where there is greater life enhancing energy. As we sometimes remark to the channeler, if you can't teleport yet, you're not fully empty yet. And while that's more of a quip than a reliable criterion of judging someone's level of consciousness, there is some truth to it. A person who is actually clear and empty and has their needs met would radiate love and have several so-called supernatural abilities. Such a person would automatically appear to be a spiritual master in the eyes of the average person. Even if that person hadn't consciously practiced spirituality. Pretty much everyone has unmet needs. And while people can usually cope with one or two unmet needs, 
Most people have had several deep unmet needs for a long time. Whatever the outcome, we will be closely watching events and doing our best to influence those involved to bring about peaceful solutions. However, sometimes matters must be left to allow things to follow their own path. Whatever way events work out our presence will ensure matters do not get out of hand. Indeed, we will control the energies so that the outcome is following a direction that can be used to change the outcome to a more acceptable conclusion. So much karma is being worked out and many souls on earth at this time are creating opportunities that will advance matters for a much better outcome. There is always hope regardless of the attempts of the dark ones to keep people down and deny them their rightful place in the light. The battle is indeed between the dark and the light, whatever shape or form it takes. At present, the earth is in turmoil and it is surely difficult to see which direction it is going in. But there is always light at the end of the tunnel and it will grow stronger as the dark ones are prevented from succeeding with their plan to imprison the people of earth. We understand this mindset. We understand how compelling 3D reality is. If you operate in 3D reality while not knowing you are governed by the energetic reality, then it can seem hopeless to hope and difficult to dream. However, now you know better than you did in the past. Now you know that your energy affects what you attract. Now you know that the previous failed relationships probably started out with a need to improve upon self-worth. And after the first not so great partner, your focus on that one attracted the next and so forth. However, now you know differently. You can focus on things that feel happy. You can focus on friendships that are beautiful. You can focus on a loving relationship with your dog or cat and in doing any of these things. You emanate a vibration compatible with good relationships and will attract more. Many of you argue with us. I haven't found a good one yet. You say, we know you're telling the truth. We have great compassion. We gently remind you to relax and allow the universe to bring you your partner. We remind you to think about it with anticipation and to celebrate love wherever you find it in your life. Live in love, dear ones, and then however you want love to come your way, it will. As we learn to hold a focus on life, enhancing scenarios in every circumstance. We transform our own lives and project these energies all around us. As we develop unconditional acceptance of everything and receive all experiences with gratitude. We can realize the magnitude of our consciousness within which everything arises for us to experience in alignment with our state of being. In every moment we freely choose the kinds of experiences we realize are real for us. When we expand our realization, we can shift into a more expansive reality. Within the human trance, we have not understood our true nature and creative essence. As a result, it's difficult to realize how we are the creators of our lives and how extensive is our consciousness in a realm of conscious entities. All of whom arise within the same creator consciousness. This is a quantum potentiality for us to make real in our experience through our vibratory alignment. Or to meet their psychological needs. People tell themselves a story that probably isn't fully true but that is psychologically pleasing to them. In this story, they're usually either better or harder working or more virtuous than other people. Or they're the social justice hero, or they're the oppressed victim who did nothing wrong and who isn't to blame for their current not so great life. There is actually a whole lot of this going on because people are in so much pain. It has not been easy for me. It has not been easy for me. 
And you know I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. So here you see someone fulfilling their own psychological needs by telling a story that makes them a hero they had it so tough. But they overcame it because they're so virtuous or hardworking or something like that. You have been working towards the new age for a long time and given every chance to rise up and even now you could do so. Clearly all souls upon the earth at this time are benefiting from their experiences in spite of the problems caused by the dark ones. It must seem very difficult to make sense of what is taking place. But be assured that there is a plan that will lead to a victory for the light. It was foreseen and anticipated eons of time ago, and it will give much joy and happiness to those who will have earned their victory. Most humans are very resilient, and once they have a target in their sight, they are usually single-minded in their intention to succeed. Most of you are very experienced in facing challenges and have every faith in your ability to overcome whatever problems you meet. It is why we cheer you on knowing that you have faith in yourselves. You have little idea of your past adventures, but do at times experience a certain feeling that you have led many lives. They have given you the faith you have in your own ability to tackle any problems that confront you, and indeed with your experience you can. There is never any judgment in the heavens against you. There is only great compassion and a strong desire on our part. To entice you to notice things that feel more and more like love. We always strive to help you enter this beautiful, healing, uplifting, abundant stream of love and life that will renew anything in need of renewal in your lives. Sit with us, dear ones, not for our sake, not for the sake of being holy or pleasing God, but because it gives you an opportunity to receive the renewing life force. The love of God that can indeed resurrect anything you like in your mind, heart, emotions or life. You are loved beyond anything you can possibly imagine without condition. And this stream of love flows eternally, just waiting for you to receive its grace.